Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Okay, today another interesting question which is asked in Deloitte uh, company. Okay, they have asked this question. Okay, first understand the question. Write down the query to perform the data validation. Okay, let's understand what is source, what is target. Here, if you understand first table, employee ID, employment status. Okay. See first row which contains one, two, three, and FT. FT is nothing but a full time employment. Second row, one, two, four, CWR, nothing but a contract. One, two, five, we see TER. TER means terminated. Okay. One, two, six, nothing but a FT. So if you understand this, right? Okay. Source data is having abbreviations, but they wanted to see the full name here. Full name here in the Target okay. According to that, okay. If you understand this second table, employee ID, employment status, they have done that using ETL job. Okay, using ETL job. Now we they are asking us to validate by writing the SQL query. By writing the SQL query, let's understand this. How we are going to solve this? How we are going to solve this? Let me go to let me go to SQL. First, prepare the data. Okay, let's prepare the data. Okay, so already I have prepared. Let me drop, and after that, I'm creating two tables. One is employee source, and another one is employee target using two columns: employee ID and as well as status. Okay, let's insert at a time two tables using insert all. Okay, and after that, let's query the data. Let's query the data now. We can go ahead and we can execute this now. Here, this is the source. Okay, whenever we see source one two three FT one two four CWR one two five TER one two six FT. Here, the already target is populated. Now, our duty to validate it. Our duty is to validate it. Post what we can check. It's a one to one transformation. One to one transformation. How we are going to validate? First validation whenever you are going to do here you have to do metadata validation metadata validation okay first in metadata validation what you are going to check number of columns number of columns source okay and data type data type data type okay data type and data type length data type length okay and these are the things which we are going to check. And if we have any primary key, nothing but an integrity, we are going to check. Check. Okay. Data integrity. Okay. Before going to perform, first we are going to do the data integrity check. Now, as part of this, we don't have any primary key, foreign key, nothing. Okay. First, understand target table, we have to check it. Up. Okay. Once they have populated source, already we have checked before running the job. and. We have to check target okay as per requirement it should have two columns and other than that it has to be one is number data type another is another is we have to populate the wirecat data type wirecat to data type let's refresh here okay let's refresh here here we can see employee source post employee source let's understand vmp source where is emp source here let's understand this okay emp source already checked okay here we are going to check target employee id number okay status here we see where 2 okay and data type length as per mapping document 10 okay assume that and where 2 we see 20 byte okay so it is matching first we have checked the we have checked the metadata okay we don't have any constraints we don't have any constraints here it is not going to show any okay in the sql developer you can see here if any constraints are there you can click on double click on table automatically it will show the columns after that here we have a constraint button if you click automatically it will show the constraints as well now what what is the next thing which we are going to validate data type we have validated data type length we have validated number of columns also we have validated at target at target number of columns okay number of columns we have validated everything is matching now data integrity check we are keeping aside we don't have any key constraints here okay key constraints here now okay let's understand what is the next thing which you are going to check it up so once you check the metadata validation then immediately what you are going to check you are going to check the 
you are going to check the record count record count record count you are going to check it out so let's check record count okay it is a one to one transformation okay one to one means it's a straightforward transformation record count won't change so select select count of star select count of star select count of star from source table nothing but a employee source table employee source table okay here if you check it up employee source table okay what is the record count four okay at the same time we have to check even target as well target as well okay what is the thing which you are going to check here target we are going to check it up so both should return four four okay now you see 21 22 both are written in four four which means record count is match record count is match then what is the next step which you are going to do we are going to validate the data we are going to validate the data validation okay see here okay two things which we are going to validate it one is data transformation another is data validation okay data completeness check also we are going to do it okay here see let's understand what is the transformation here if you understand the data let me close these tabs okay to make it easier okay let's query these two tables okay what is the logic we have to understand one is whenever you see fpe automatically it has to say status is permanent whenever you see cw or nothing but a contractor it has to be okay whenever you see term tier automatically you have to populate as terminated okay fte again we see permanent here okay this is the transformation which we have to do so in this case what is the thing which you have to do okay here you have to do two validation whenever you are going to do one is source versus target okay source versus target another is target versus target versus source you have to do it target versus so source you have to do it in a simpler way okay b minus a okay a minus b a minus b you have to do it you have to do it to do that right we have to where you have to apply the transformation logic always remember source side you have to apply the you have to apply the transformation logic okay why don't we apply the target target is applied by target already applied by whom applied by workflow workflow okay already workflow has been written because of that you loaded the data now it is your duty to compare the data between the source versus target as per mapping document as per mapping document let's consider the logic here okay how the logic we have to write it first of all select select what is the column first one employee id okay case okay when what is the column status okay status equals to what is what is the status here wherever fte is present okay then you have to populate it populate it as populate it as permanent permanent let me copy here i don't want to keep any differences in the data okay permanent okay and then again when okay when again wherever cwr is present okay status column is cwr status equals to cwr then automatically what you have to present what you have to do you have to show contractor you have to show contractor okay let me do that the again when okay when status is when status is status is equal to tr then you have to populate as terminated terminated okay terminated else okay else consider it na okay in this case and end a column name as status status okay so from where which table from which table you are populating from source table you have to populate it from source table you have to apply this logic okay when you do this okay what is coming whatever expected it is coming this is the logic which is going to return by who qe okay qe or qa test analyst or test engineer 
then what is the target straight away in target you have to you should not apply anything just you can go ahead and you can do the here employee id and status status okay status from target employee target okay when you do this okay what are the uh, what are the operators what is the function what is the statement you have used one is key statement we have used another is minus minus is a set operator first it is going to take this data okay whatever the data is present here okay whether all data is present here or not it is going to check if all the data is present in the target okay it is going to return the zero records if any one of the record is missing in the here let's consider it in table one it is present one re three records okay three records table two is present matching records is two okay output will come as one output will come one if it is three and three is matching okay three and three is matching output will come as zero now our case will check it up our case will check it up okay how it is going to why we are saying zero it is matching exactly whenever they last question okay you have to translate the requirement into sql query and you have to validate like this so we have done a minus b now we have to do it in a vice versa which means the query should go top okay this query will go top and here you are going to see minus minus okay here you are going to close the sql query by semicolon okay now you are going to validate this okay now you see zero records this is the way you have to validate step by step whenever they are going to ask you okay so that's it for the day guys thank you so much for supporting and please forward this interview question series with your friends colleagues who you are looking for the job and we are going to start new batch on august 1st okay so here we are going to provide the basically we are providing the syllabus along with that one real time project and when it comes to etl testing usually they provide the etl testing concepts only after that they are going to provide the etl testing as well as they are not going to provide the bi part now as part of our thing okay we are going to show the real time project from source to until visualization which means we are going to use the etl okay etl tool as informatica we are going to read the data from source system and then on top of it we are going to visual we are going to build the data warehouse on top of it we are going to visualize the data using power bi and from end to end how we are going to validate we are going to provide as a as part of real time project if any one of your friends or colleagues are looking for training and please refer us Thank you so much guys.